Okay, I'm here. That looks good. And let's see. I'm about the starter sound. That looks a little low. I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it right now, as usual. I like how Steam now has a disconnected thing going on that just happens to occur whenever the fuck it feels like. It's in the middle of sending a message. And, uh, well, disconnected. All right, so I'm here now uh, due to coffee, beer today. Uh, decaf coffee. And I'm feeling really fucking bloated. I made the mistake of getting just a little hungry and making spaghetti. It's gotten to the point. Well, I don't want to eat spaghetti anymore. Because I always feel like crap after I eat it. Okay. And uh, I'm going to wager that Kareen is in the wall. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's right. I did the fairy garden thing for her. Why is she coming out now to thank me? In the rain? Uh, uh so Sophia, you're like a season too late for that. Maybe try a different pasta? I mean, maybe. But it's also, spaghetti's way too easy to make. I want to kind of challenge myself, you know? Okay, I have no idea what I was doing last time. I have no memory of it. And, uh... What is... Okay, it's Saturday, so I shouldn't have... Oh! Oh, that's right. I vaguely remember now. <laughs> I made a bunch of seed makers. And, uh, well, I've uh, expanded my obsession. Just a little bit. But the, the goal will be basically the takeover... The, the entire region with uh, with ancient fruit. And let's see, at over a million, so that's nice. I need another million. I really do. I, I need to get my hands on a return scepter. It's going to make my life infinitely easier. Alright, so I don't have any need for the tractor right now. Uh, I did not install any new mods, in case anyone was wondering. Mm. Now nah, we're just starting, really. It's Stardew Valley. It takes a while for it to, to boot up. I still need to complete the acorn, or the walnuts quest. Acorns. God, I see one thing involving a saber tooth squirrel on Reddit, and now I'm thinking about acorns instead of walnuts but on that note uh turns out blue sky studio which is uh responsible for the ice age movies is apparently shutting down and scrat finally got his acorn i'm very happy for him I'm also sad i mean the ice age none of the ice age movies would be considered objectively good but they were fun while they lasted You say that, but last time you mentioned spaghetti, it was fused to a pan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was on a Monday, and uh, I, I realized I should never cook spaghetti on a Monday because Monday's a <laughs> Monday's a stressful day, and uh, well, I was so amped up with work, I was reheating spaghetti, and I forgot about it while I was in the middle of a work call, and uh, my smoke alarm was very kind enough to remind me. <laughs> hey, dumbass, you left something on. And it was so weird that uh, I I wasn't sure if it was me or if it was the guy I was talking to. And so I, I had to unhook my... Um, I had to unhook my headphones and go, what is that? And then I realized it was coming from my end and I, I had to be like, shit, I will be right back.
Also, I'm still trying to get that uh, that that Java, the Java, the hot Java ring. Oh. Would you stop the bullying? Jesus Christ. No manners. Feels like it's going to be one of those bad luck days, though. I wish these rooms all had a set pattern to them. It would make things so nice. Only number nine is... Uh, is consistent. Uh, well, even then, it's not that consistent. It could, it could vary a bit. But I know what to expect in number nine. There's no way, to, good way to reheat spaghetti. Uh, I disagree. You can heat it up, but you have to heat it up right. You don't put spaghetti in a bowl and heat it up that way. You put it back on the stove. Oh, maneuvering through monsters. So much fun. So much fun, I hate it. There it is. Oh, fuck this. Alright, where is it? All back here. At least it's not like in a puzzle format. It's just fucking step on the buttons and be on your way. I still have no idea what I'm doing. Just things are being done right now. I'm also getting as many of these shards as I can. I think I need over a hundred. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. No, I don't want to deal with your bullshit. Oh, God damn it. They're everywhere. Okay, you just need a... Yeah. Hey, Walnut. Oh, hey, that gives me the range. That's nice. Ah, fucker. Come on back. You know you want it. There you go. You know, I should have... I should have brought beer today. Today's not a great day. It's kind of a shit day. All that's... All that's fueling me right now is decaf coffee and hate. How's everyone doing? Hey, another walnut. We need that bat. It's like a mummified bat. Oh, we're at number nine. Oh, come on. Fuck off. Yes, decaf. And I hate myself for it. Real men don't use decaf. I got an ostrich egg I can't use. Getting walnuts left and right, though. That's nice. Ah, I'm not going to get into those. Or actually, I don't even know how many walnuts in this place I've retrieved. It 
You're good. What happened? Ah, uh, you know. Yeah. It's one of those days. It's gotten to the point, and you know, I don't want to knock on religious people, but um, I just noticed that some of the most self-serving and just rude people I've encountered are also very religious people that re represent religious organizations. And uh, kind of ruined my evening, you know? Alright, I got a bunch of crap that I don't know what I'm going to do with. I don't even know why I went there. And I, I'm pretty sure this is a persistent bug with the base game, but you, you warp off of the island and you come back to the farm, you still have island music. I don't get it. I just don't. Mm-mm. Nuh-uh. Oh, that's the other thing I was doing. I was, um... At one point, trying to get more materials for... You know, the, the, the this thing. The, the, the kegs. So, who you want to meet? No, no, it's a work-related thing. It's just, um, the, the individual in question has been kind of giving me the runaround and just being kind of rude since day one, and I never wanted to deal with him. Alright, throw that in, that in. Oh, that's right, I got solar essences. Got an ostrich egg I can never use. Where's the other egg at? I'm pretty sure I have another. Yeah, there's another ostrich egg. Well, this is the placeables. Uh, the 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 placeables. Uh, the thingy. Yeah, it's a thingy. All right, throw that in there. Wait, how many bars do I have? That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, I got plenty. And there's plenty of time. I'm pretty sure the bear is still out and about. Hmm. I'm going to go pay the bear a visit. I don't like how I have to go at this speed, though. I want to use a coffee, but, um, what's it? Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, I can't even think straight right now. <laughs> I blame the decaf. I need caffeine. I need something stronger than this. And I completely lost my train of thought. Because I thought about coffee. I want to make a path going from... The, the front of the Aurora Vineyard straight to the Bear's Place. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be a, an issue with, like, um, wh what do you call it? Uh, the, the weeds? The other plant life? But if I can if I can get a path going over there, make my life a lot easier just to, to walk through there and not have to Go through the maze of trees. Not have to get caught up on bushes. The only acceptable bush in this case is the water bush. And that's only because it's in the water. It's away from me. And it makes Queen happy. So, you know, win-win. Queen's happy. And I keep, get to keep my kneecaps for another day. What made me choose decaf? Uh, because that was what was in my kitchen. I 
I don't even know if I've ever even harvested the blueberries yet. Or if they've just been hanging out. I almost want to say that they've been just hanging out. Alright. I need a total of 13. And whatever many things of wood it takes. What? 1,030? 1,000... 1,390? I don't know. Nope. Wait. Oh! I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I can't math. Okay. Oh, it was 390. <laughs> okay, that should have been... Oh, yeah. Math is not my forte today. I'm so confused. Decaf is like N.A. beer. What? <laughs> I I don't uh, I I don't understand your your reasoning here, but uh, it was definitely this will do moment. Mm -hmm. Plus, it it's also like uh, I have a tablespoon. Uh, well, I actually don't know if it's uh, if tablespoons are used in Europe, but it's it's basically this uh, tablespoon that I use to scoop the coffee and you know, put it in the little coffee thing. Uh, and there is enough of the decaf coffee where I could just throw the spoon right in with it. So that's that's another thing that's preventing me from uh, getting another uh, different thing of coffee. Because I want to be able to be lazy and not have to put the freaking spoon in, away in its proper drawer. I'll fight for decaf all day long. <laughs> All right, I think my pigs are ready to start making stuff for me. It's going beep, beep. Yes, piggies. Give me the things. Oh. This is nice. I also need to go and find Lenny. And give her more shit so I can maybe, just maybe, get my hands on... Oh, by the way, yeah, I forgot I did this too. <laughs> I'm not saying I have a problem, but capitalism. All right, next place I'm going to is um, I'm going to go into the cave because at this point, now that I know I can find <laughs> prismatic shards in there for some stupid reason, it's worth checking on a semi-regular basis. And who knows, maybe I'll just give Lenny a prismatic shard. Maybe she, she'll like me enough to give me the, uh... Oh my god, are you fucking serious? <laughs> Why? Why is this a thing? Shockingly, spoons are... Okay, smartass, that wasn't what I was referring to. It's referring to the fact that, um... Uh, it, it's a type of measurement spoon, you right? It's not an actual spoon that you put on a table. That's, that's fucking... That's fucking obvious. But, um... Uh, uh, we use, uh... Like a measurement tool called the tablespoon. I just don't know if that's a US-only thing. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look here. I... Did I... Okay, yes. Yeah, so I turned some of that into Gunther. Some fool's gold over there. Alright, yeah. I can't even without caffeine in the morning. Even I've gotten attitude for about an hour. You know, I can... Uh, I can function without caffeine. I'm just really tired. I'm, and... I, I need a like a kick in the ass to, to get me motivated. Like an emergency at work. Like there, there's actually almost an emergency this morning. And that got me up really quickly. And I I wasn't even on shift yet. Oh, 
All right. And let's see what else. That's just that's a lot of stuff. Okay, I need to get my hands on one more one more shed. We need another shed. I like the idea of eating soup with a fork, dude. You know, just watch the world burn. I think there's war criminals out there that doesn't have that kind of level of psychopathy. Oh, Miss Robin! I need your brown natural Viagra. Okay, you know, just because <laughs> Europe not having. <laughs> I'm not saying Europe doesn't have spoons, damn it. I'm talking about the measurement duel. <laughs> oh, God fucking damn it. You guys suck. <laughs> you guys are so mean. I'm gonna go on my pony. I'm gonna go home. Oh, okay. So, um, update about uh, tomorrow's stream. And I, I was talking a little bit about it right before the stream started, but, um, asshole brother stole my hat. So he's gonna be uh, bringing that back tomorrow, whether he likes it or not. And, uh, well, if, if he wants to stick around, we'll we'll do we'll do streaming and um with him only thing to come to mind <clears throat> only thing that comes to mind that he would like at this point is um is animal crossing so tomorrow might be an animal crossing stream soup is best with bread i agree i don't remember the last time i had soup with bread before now, what type of soup are we talking about, exactly? Be careful now, your public American education is... <laughs> And that's hilarious. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> he right clicked out of the game window. <laughs> and I got it like extra worse because I don't just have American education, I have California public school education. That's even worse. I think the only thing that beats that is. Like education that's yeah, below the Mason Dixon line, but I'm pretty sure a certain queen might take issue with that. And now I need to protect my kneecaps again. I'm gonna start wearing knee pads just in case um, a really small person with a bat shows up on my doorstep. Oh, do I have cranberries? Do I have any of those ready to go? I do not. This place needs to be converted. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream where everyone here is just a little offensive. I have not... <laughs> okay, I gotta go feed these guys some stuff. Oxtail soup. What is oxtail soup? If you say a soup, no shit. <laughs> I'm just curious. Uh, okay. Gotta go find the um, the minecart. 
my god. We'll go to the mines. We go talk to a shitty person. It's a beverage called milk. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, that's right. I'm going to find where where Miss doesn't like the work is at. Too, you know. Kind of a beef flavor soup. Hmm. Now, isn't you're not actually having the tail of an ox in said soup, are you? That'd be pretty scary. And metal. Pink. Uh, game? Okay. Forgot the thing I need to give to Lenny. I gotta go get that thing. And where the hell did I put it? Is it in here? Yes. It's this flower right here, which she likes for some reason. Well, I should uh, preface and say uh, that. I'm only assuming that I get the uh, the requirement or the request once I'm friends with Lenny. But it could also very well be that the request comes on the notice board too. I believe it may have started with an actual ox tail, but ox aren't farmed to the same degree as cattle. Oh, okay. Well, considering that of the three people that know what oxtail soup is, two of them agree that a tail is involved. I guess they're just more metal. This bitch right here has a tall order. I've done this, this billboard request before. It was not fun. Lenny, are you here? Yes, you are. Does it get lonely on the farm? Are you coming on to me? Oh god, she is coming on to me. I, th I think I'm going to regret giving you that. I also need to do another look at the oh the the, the keg rooms. I've noticed that kegs they deliver wine for ancient fruits a day before ancient fruits are ready to harvest. I just can never pinpoint the time that they're available for for picking up from the kegs. Oh hey, look at that! So how I usually do this, as opposed to throwing all these kegs in the casks, uh, I make sure I get the maximum amount of kegs first before doing anything related to um, uh, aging the wine. So we're going to see how much all of this is. Just base value. I'll give you a clue, it's going to be a hell of a lot. Uh, 121 on the one that's picked up, but what's the total? Over 160 now. So each of these rooms for me, any or the setup, 
Holds with 131 and uh, 164. Okay. That's that's pretty damn good. All right, and now we're going to go sleep. How much is this going to make us? I wish this was, this was real life. I'd be set. Okay, not as much as I hoped it was going to be. I hope it's going to be like closer to a million. But uh, that's that's predominantly from the wine. 378,000. Still really good. But uh, once, once their ancient fruits are sold to, then... That's when the numbers really start coming up. Did I turn off my coffee maker? I'm going to go get some more coffee and check to make sure I didn't leave something on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm dropping everything. Oh, shit. Coffee has been acquired. I don't hear a smoke alarm. <laughs> God damn it. I checked. It was indeed off. So, alright. Crisis averted. Before it could begin. Alright, now I've got to hang this cable properly. Uh, by the way, I... Th I think I discovered a uh, like two extra USB cables or USB ports on my PC. I'm so happy. That's what uh, messed up my mic earlier. <laughs> Wait, uh, the, uh, on Monday? Yeah, I think it was Monday. Yeah, my brother was here on Monday. I can't, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> God damn it! This is so satisfying. But, uh, anyways, yeah. So I found the two USB ports, plugged my microphone into a different one, and then that completely screwed up with the with the microphone on the stream on Monday. Give me all the goodies. Freaking tractor is awesome. I, I know I have Junimo, but, uh, you know, being able to use a tractor is just so much fun. And I get to help these little guys out. Let's see, I have, I have in with a smoke mark meant for. Wait. You had a m oven that the smoke alarm meant a frozen pizza was perfectly done? I am confused and a little frightened. Oh, I definitely need to get the ones on the edge here. Uh, little Junimos will not get the, the ones on the edge. Almost got them all. I do not know what the total is going to be. All I know is it's uh, going to be a shitload. And you know it's going to be a lot when you hit the 
the full stack of one one quality. Almost at um, uh, two stacks of that one quality. I don't. Hmm, maybe we'll we'll get it to two full stacks. Oh yeah, that looks like two full stacks. Oh yes, it is. Wow. Can we hit two and a half stacks? I do not know. Oh, we're at two and a fourth. Nah, not unless there was like a hundred and fifty something in this one. Nah, pretty close though. Mmm, crispy pizza. Isn't that we cut what people call New York style? Or is that like the thin crust? Is that New York style? I don't remember. It's been a while since I had New York style pizza. First time I've ever tried that was I think my first day at uni. And there was a there was a small New York style pizza place right next to the university. It was really cool. Oh, this is so nice. It could the only way this could be better is if I could take my tractor in here. Thin crust, okay. I want to go back to Chicago and uh, do specifically for another deep dish pizza from there. It's both very delicious and a huge mistake. <laughs> Okay, so this side first. Oh, there's Robin. Oh, I've never had this, uh, but, uh, or, or not that I know of, but uh, brick oven pizza. I hear that that's, that's also wildly popular, or at least supposed to be really good. good. I should have enough for this side. I want to start the farm on Ginger Island, but uh, two fossils are found on that farmland, and I hate it. a video of you trying to finish it. <laughs> what? A, a deep dish pizza? Guys, like, oh, oh, yeah, this is really cool. And then you get into it and you go, fuck my life, dude. There's so much here. Like, it doesn't look that big when you see it. But then when you start digging into it, you realize that it just keeps, there's so much packed in this small space that you go, I, I don't want anything to do with this anymore. It's delicious, but I hate myself for it. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got... We got offerings. Break oven is the best. Actually, super thin crust takes on a smoky quality. Oh.
Oh, wrong way. Gotta give the offering to the lazy bones. Now, if I can have a moment to actually accept the uh, the, the the fan canon of uh, Lenny and Lewis being siblings, the uh, the behavioral dynamic between those two is just like Papyrus and Sans. Oh, I think she was talking about the 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 other thingy. Okay. Gotta go. Make sure I pay visits to her. Make sure that she's nice and happy. Gives me that request. Oh yeah, it's Monday. Gotta gotta go see what is on the on the boards. A uh, game? Okay. It's the same fucking two things. They've just been swapped around. Game trying to bamboozle me. This is unacceptable. Alright, time to check the other one that's in the middle of town. I like how I have to travel a ways just to see two separate billboards. Bulletin boards, whatever you want to call them. I also need to see whose birthday it is. I need to find Lenny's birthday. Maybe that'll get her to like me more. Maybe we'll save my last flower for her birthday. <gasps> it's tomorrow! We're doing it. So fucking doing it. Alright, what's here? Oh, tropical fish. I want nothing to do with that. This one's pretty nice, but it, it can be kind of challenging. And I just got rid of all my wine. <laughs> so, no! I gotta. What, what do I gotta do? And you go give that offering to Lenny? Because, you know, fucking do it. Uh oh. Game. Okay. I should have to stop for a second and think. Get the gears turning in the old noggin. And ask myself this one question Where the hell was my tractor? <laughs> And then the other voice comes into my head and goes, right where you left it. Alright, where is it? We're okay, right here. Save that for tomorrow. The first thing tomorrow, I'm going to go visit Lenny. I'm going to give her that good shit. The birthday thing. Yeah, it's a birthday thing. Oh, that is so close. We're at 1,700,000. And on this day, it's Tuesday, and Robin's not home. Spreading winds have caused damage to my farm. What shenanigans are these? Corrine, what did you do? It um, looks very kitcheny. I'm not like dangerously funny. I don't, I don't look for an excuse to get divorces. It's one way to leave a very, uh, very unhappy life. Drink the triple shot espresso, and now we have speed. Speed that's gonna go, that's uh, gonna plug directly into the horse's ass, so we can get to Ridge Side. The only other thing I can hope for is that if the cutscene for the greenhouse is gonna be this cutscene coming up for her next heart event. Uh, I hope that cutscene does not have to occur at a specific time of day. It's very aggravating. Like, I can 
totally get like a specific time of day, but um, but like a specific day of the week. And also, in uh, in this game's case, it's the, the, if there is a time frame, it's very strict. Holy crap! It's locked. Oh, I gotta go kick it down someone else's door. Uh, like no one is open at this time. Maybe this is open. Yes. Oh. oh. Disappointment. Might have to look it up. If it's on a specific day and time. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Oh, there we are. All right, what kind of bullshit she's going to throw down my throat this time? You need to tell me something important. Oh, God. Oh, God. Based on that earlier, you are coming on to me, aren't you? I'm going to get drugged and I'm going to be get tied into her basement. Oh god, she's not making it any better. That Okay. Mary Lance said he won't ruin this. <laughs> Queen over here, <laughs> vengeful as ever. Not a fan of the tiles. Okay, I definitely have main character syndrome coming on over here. Well, fake out. You know, don't offer me drinks anytime soon, Lenny. I swear to God. All right, we have started saving funds for rebuilding one of the low cal greenhouses. That's how it looks like it should be red. No, it's local greenhouses. I think there might be a little bit of a little text oopsie over there. Maybe. All we need are the materials. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Yes, give me the list of materials. I will get that bitch set up nice and good oh wait a minute Ridside greenhouse okay <clears throat> oh Christ 50 iron bars all right let's get to work actually have an objective she's trying to be hip Uh, kid, get out of my way. Okay. <laughs> I think the mod maker <laughs> did that with the pathfinding specifically so people could get their horses through. Alright. Was it only three items or was it four? Alright. Oh, yeah, it was only three. Okay, so 60 hardwood, 100, 100 stone? Yeah, 100 stone. I have plenty of that. And it's a 50 iron bars. That's the that's the doozy. All right, let's see how much hardwood I have. Uh, the the iron. Oh, okay, I have plenty of these. And fuck my life. Oh, Clint. something else I wanted to do too and I don't remember what it was all right using this let's go to town uh oh 
What's this all about? Oh, that's right. Um, okay, so a little context here. Um, when starting up Stardew Valley Expanded, there are what are called mature events. Now, these are not the X-rated events, but these are more dark themes. And so I enable that at some point. And uh, Sophia here gets pretty freaking dark. Frankly, Sophia here is just one of my favorite characters from just any of the uh, of the mods. And I think we've all felt like this before. Can't say no to food. I mean, I can because I'm fucking. Just... It's way too early in the morning to be going over to uh, what's his face's place, Gus's place. Andy getting drunk this early in the morning? Come on, my guy. You're not Pam. You're just the male version of Pam. So please carry on. Gus is awesome. He's a real homie. Okay, I thought there was going to be more to it than that, but I guess not. Upgrade tools? Oh. Nah. I am going to shop, though, because I need... Give me your iron. Let's see, if I to... do I need five hundred? I think I need five hundred total, at least. Screw it, you know, go for a stack. Cause why not? I'm already wasting money. Question is, do I have the coal for this? Uh, game? Game? Uh-oh. Game? Okay. Alright, now to be completely irresponsible to both um, uh, my home, family, and additionally the environment. Oh god, I think I need more of those. Um, th I'm going to light all these furnaces on fire. See how many eight sixteen at a time? Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna need more coal. All right, let's go kick down Clint's door again. Clint, you're needed. Not just because I'm just going to shove more money into your face. I'm so thankful for whatever update it was that allows me to get uh, 25 of one item at a time. <laughs> so nice. It used to be that you could s uh, speed collect like one to five items at a time, and even then, that took forever. I'm not going to run out of coal anytime soon. Someone was trying to complete the game without s while spending as little money as possible? I think I saw something like that before. Oh, you know what? Let's do that.
I don't know why that works, it just does. Now, the only other problem is that I've, I'm going to need to wait forever for all this to get done. How much? I think it's like 20 copper ore. And 25 stone. That's a tall order just for one furnace. Damn it. Uh-oh. Who's calling me? Oh, it's this dickhead. Wait, you you bored behind the shelf, uh, behind the desk, cashier, counter, whatever. It's an advertisement, dude. I will, I will chuck this phone at you. I will, I will chuck it through your window from my home. So yeah, uh, Arlise, is that is that how you say your name? Welcome, welcome. We're just hanging out here, playing Stardew Valley. You doing good? Thanks for stopping by. And let's see. It's only noon right now. The only other thing I can think of is maybe going to Ginger Island, but then that will make it so this will take longer to, to be, get sorted out. Wait, how many do I have in my five? So 16, 21. All right, so how many times is 16 going to 50? Four times? Well, well a three and a partial. Right? Oh, God, my coffee is worn out. Oh, no. I don't even know where I'm going to need to put all this stuff at when once it's all said and done. Oh no, that's not the that's not the rock chest. The rock chest is over here. There it is. Yeah, three times with uh, two more required. Okay. All right, now to do my absolute favorite thing in the whole wide world: be obnoxious with my toolbar. <laughs> school <laughs> just imagine if if uh, the real life world worked like that and with that sound effect or like if in game that sound effect could be heard by other people be like what the hell is that i'm like what are you doing i'm playing the lottery should uh, check on my fish. I could have... Hmm. I'm going to need to put all these back, like one or two. I want to have another row of, uh, of ponds here. With most of them being lava eels. You, you gotta have those uh, those spicy eels because they lucky it's the animal crossing angry cloud actually i'm not familiar with the angry cloud what what is the animal crossing angry cloud i i must know this it's sad that i don't know what this is because i've been playing animal crossing for a long time not the latest one but other games in the series stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> god damn it! How? Why? Why is this a thing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm never gonna run out of prismatic shards ever. I just make it, need to make an occasional trip into this freaking cave. I'm beginning to think something with my mods is causing a, a an increase of prismatic shards. 
I, I can't be getting this lucky. It's, it's just impossible. There's no, absolutely not. Holy crap. It's like my luck with gloves and swords and mantles. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. There's always that one item that you really shouldn't be getting, but you get all the time. Alright, so I have these five. Okay, after this one, I will be good to go. So, I'm now up to 12 prismatic shards. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I don't think they're going to be done by the time uh, before the, the city hall in the other area closes. Alright, well, I guess... Mm, actually, I'll try it. It takes, what, uh, an hour and a half, two and a half hours for this all to get uh, said and done? There's a few things I could do in that time. Uh, the villagers, when they're angry and have a doubt... Dark oh, yeah, that's right! I remember! That was so much fun, hitting them over the head with nets. But uh, if you take a look at uh, Jaden Animation's video on Animal Crossing, I think it's a pretty uh, tight explanation of what old Animal Crossing was like versus new Animal Crossing. Uh oh, Corrine wants to talk to me. What do you want, Corrine? Oh my last, you went nowhere. Or were you talking to me? Hope you weren't talking to me. I didn't do anything to you. Alright, so I got that to Lenny. Sam's birthday tomorrow. But I don't really care about Sam. Turns out Sheila from the boarding house mod uh has a thing for Sam. To the point where it's uh we're going into stalking behavior. I'm one of the, oh the pitfalls. Yes, I forgot about that. Just kind of trap a villager until they're forced to go into a pitfall. Like I wouldn't waste my own for that. I would, um, I would save those for other players that came to my, uh, into my t uh, village. I'm gonna need to do something about those uh, those weeds. Very annoying. Very very annoying. Oh, it's right here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, right on time, too. That was awesome. I got there with uh, less than 10 seconds to spare. Super cool. I do like that, um, the, the skylight that's going on, in, or the, um, the sky background, skybox, whatever you want to call it, because it has that pretty night sky. You don't see the sky here all that much. Okay. All right, pretty decent amount. Was it Wednesday in game? Uh oh, okay.
Coffee. I don't I don't know why my child keeps playing among the dangerous equipment. I think making poor decisions just runs in the family. Uh oh. Okay. Oh game is um acting up a little bit. Having a having a little bit of a tantrum. Maybe it just doesn't want to be played. What is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh monster spell in trap cards? Oh god damn. Dude, you're asking me something about a series I have not played in a while. Um, okay, let me think. Monster. Um let's say Chaos and Dragon? See, spell card. I think it was a spell. It's called Dragon's Mirror. And trap card, trap card. Oh. I don't remember the name of it, but it's like a web of chains. Going back and forth, to and fro. Bad parenting. <laughs> God. I gotta wait for that freaking place to open. Worm, open up! Open up! Open! Nail it. Okay, what what kind of shenanigans are these? Okay, so she's completely worthless. Hoping for a cutscene. I might have to look this up. I want to talk to the, the promiscuous ninja over here. Swim at the Amethine Mansion? What is that? Is that the mansion over to the right? What trespassing? <laughs> God damn. This. This right here is what needs to be fixed. I wonder what the inside of this place is going to look like. I hope it looks good. And I hope I could just fill it to the brim with ancient fruit. Maybe he needs to take a couple days. I hope not. And then he's still in the kitchen doing jack and shit. Fiendish chains? That I, I don't remember. I think it's a trap called chain destruction. I, <sighs> I would have to see it. I know the image in my head. I know exactly what card I'm thinking about. I just don't know the name. Hold on. I'll look up those two names if that's the, um, if that happens to coincide with what I'm thinking of. I'll let you know. Okay, so. Uh, Fiendish Change. That'll be the first one I look up. So let's go Yu-Gi-Oh. Fiend. Uh-oh. I got a phone call! So the Sunnyside Farm is doing well? It is. It's doing better than the real Sunnyside Farm. Okay, we we'll go back to this. Um, so fiendish chain. Uh, okay, it's not fiendish chain. It d definitely looks like it, but it's not fiendish chain. All right, and then the other one, chain destruction. So let's go chain destruction. It is not chain destruction. I think it might be called Shadow Spell. 
Let's see. Yes, it's Shadow Spell. I can't believe I... <laughs> I memorized the, or I remembered my my own favorite trap card before you guys can even remind me. Aha! I win! I don't know what I win, but I win! Alright, let's go get some cranberries. Assuming that they're even available. Cranberries! I'm going to be more successful than Ocean Spray. Alright, throw those in. Click the Magic Triangle to go back home. And, let's take a look at uh, Lenny's request. All right, so ridge side, Lenny. I completely butchered ridge side, but that's okay. Now I get to go to my nemesis, the uh, the Phantom Wiki, specifically Phantom Wiki on mobile. I mean the uh, the desktop page can kiss my ass too, but not nearly to the extent as. Uh, as this. Alright, so community greenhouse. No, I don't want to see your bullshit ads. Alright, so how does this work? Well, oh, that's right, I had the phantom greenhouse too. It will be restored the next day. And why has it not have been why has it not been restored? In your defense, there's a lot of traps with chains on them. Okay, yeah, it's good reason. Let's see. Sod Master of the Guard. Solidarity. I don't remember any of those. I'm just sitting here kind of twiddling my thumbs like, oh, what's, what's going on there? I am very old school with Yu-Gi-Oh. Asking me anything else about it is is very unfair and it's cruel and unusual punishment. Is he in trouble? Did he get sent to the principal's office? Well, aren't you a little shithead? Kids these days, I swear to God. Alright. I'm thinking that uh, maybe the the game is just kind of BSing me. And it's, or, well, the wiki is BSing me and it's not actually one day. It might be two days. Yeah, I I do kind of recognize that game, but uh, that that name, but um so it's, uh, Oh fuck, what am I doing? But I thought it came as something else. I thought it had a destroyer in its name. All right, I guess I'm going to sleep. Waiting for the goddamn Greenhouse, get rebuilt. Be super nice, you know? Just saying. wonder if uh, Penny's using the schoolhouse. Twenty-five K! Aw, my coffee's gone.
Spreading weeds of God. Okay, where are these weeds at? Must know. All right, Corrine is off to go on a suicide mission. As one does. Uh oh, what do we got? Okay, there it is. Now to use it for my own devices. Well, what was going on with my pigs? I think they had a, a human centipede thing going on over there. Okay, this grass is starting to irritate me. It's a walkway, it's a public walkway, and it's not supposed to have anything that's ex uh, obscuring my movement. Impeding my movement, that's the word. There. Better. Holy crap, that looks awesome! I wonder this if this gives me more friendship points with other people. We finally gathered all the enough funds to restore this greenhouse and with this step further into development. I also read that the other requirement, in addition to having all those in the heart event with Lenny and all that, is that you have to have accumulated uh, 700,000 gold. In other words, it's a big middle finger. Hey, now that Pokemon Legends is done, you could put a Yu-Gi-Oh game in its place. Oh God, don't, don't subject me to that torture. I mean, I did download, um, what was it? Master, uh, Dual Masters? Master Link? I don't remember. A public greenhouse is open! A vote of souls game. You know, I was thinking about Elden Ring. <laughs> just earlier today. I don't have it, but I was thinking, this game doesn't look that hard, does it? I'm gonna play Monster Hunter. Can't be that hard. Famous last words. Well, yes, this is going to be very helpful. And now we're going to go all the way down here. And, uh... Come on. Go down. Oh. So, let's talk to Lenny real quick. Let's see. Ones who have personal plots in the first greenhouse. Besides you are Jarek, Alyssa, Olga, and Maddie. It's very suspicious of Maddie. Maddie's very, very professional dutiful it's the bitch in this house that you gotta worry about okay where, where did the greenhouse go where, oh there it is so let's see holy crap oh this ain't fair they just, this is all magic Oh, I'm glad I could walk over here. Let's see, does this say anything? Oh. And I assume this is all mine? He's definitely not as big as I would have hoped, but yeah, still still nice. Alright. I need to I need to do some measuring here. So there's one. Two. All right, so it's 12 wide. What can we do with something that's 12 wide? Uh, let's see. Six. So six on each side. Uh, five by four. Now that would be a total of seven for each each enhanced um, so sprinkler enhanced iridium sprinkler so a nozzle enhanced um, iridium sprinkler so I'm just trying to map out what I can fit in here make it as efficient uh, as efficient as possible but looks like that's not gonna be the case or at least for now
Doesn't look that hard, he says. It's decided that you must be humbled by the souls born gods. Oh, shit. Oh, I want to talk to this person. I want to be friends with her. Get the... See, th this is actually what I like about Amati. Um, and, and I realize that th this is an updated version of her, or at least as opposed to when I was first trying to befriend her, is that she was very bitchy when uh, you first meet her. But now she's a little bit more eased up. There's still a bit of that, you know, no nonsense, but it's, uh, it, she's not nearly as mean. But every now and then you get these little glimpses that uh, she she's into fairies and bunnies and all matter of tiny little critters. <laughs> all right, let's see what's at the summit farm. Maybe space them out a bit. Instead of going straight from Monster Hunter Day 1 to a soul skin the day after. Oh, God. Planning? You fucking nuts. We don't plan on this stream. I forgot to did this, too. These are all spaced out with pressure nozzles in mind. Of course, everything up here needs to be a seasonal crop, so that's going to be fun. Because I assume that uh, winter's going to wipe out everything. I like this. This is very nice. Get to be able to see that. Now, this little part right over here. What do you think that is? Is that a road or is it a river? I don't know how many Souls games I have, because I never counted, never really checked. I think I just got them on sale whenever they were on Steam, even though I don't know which ones I have. I do have Bloodborne, though. Which, if memory serves me right, there's more of a sister game to the Soul series. Hey, I didn't say you could jump around. You get back into your your polluted pond there, sir, ma'am, whatever you are, fish. Well, I'm just going to take another peek in here. God damn it. I'm going to need to start breaking open these geodes. We also want to start these insoles? Oh, man. Um, I don't know if I want to start up another uh, live stream game with um, with my trip out of the country. Slated very to be really soon. I'm going to be already going an entire week without... Uh, a live stream. I don't want to start something and then immediately have to put it down. Oh. Oh, it's a spiritual successor. Okay. Starter can be pretty intense. I would say the mods is what makes it intense. And even then, it's Stardew Valley Expanded that really makes it intense. It's because of the, the, the shenanigans of the Crimson Badlands. All that for some treasure and a galaxy slingshot that I'll never use. I only did it to have it. That's it. That's all I needed it for. All right. Next course of action. Let's uh, try to get 
that two million for that return scepter. That's, I think that's going to be the priority now. All right, let's do it. And between everything, uh, between everything, I will try to get as many iridium sprinklers as I can. Oh, shit. Game! This is what's going to make Stardew so intense. The, the, the thought of it about to crash. What's that? Ar Arugula ball? I don't know what that is. Is it food? Ah, shit. Alright, <laughs> it's time to offload. Alright, Mr. Tractor, you needed. The Junimo cannot contain this much power. It must be set free upon the world. There's nothing they can do to stop me. particle effect maelstrom from all the sprites. Yeah, screw it. Okay. These sounds are so satisfying. be a little bit faster going on like this how long will I be gone only about a week so I am taking off on the 22nd so that's going to be my initial travel time and then my flight occurs on the 23rd and I will be returning to the US on I, th I believe the 3rd I'll need to double check That's when I'm going to be back in the U.S., not uh, not when I'm going to be back to live streaming. That'll probably be the day after on the 4th, assuming I don't want to kill myself. It's a 22-hour flight. Wow. 14 truffles. There was something else I was doing, but then I got distracted by all the blueberries. Oh, Krobus. That's a long... Oh, actually, more accurately, it's, um... 
There's about a, depending on the trip to and from, between a two and three hour layover in Istanbul. So it's more like a 13 hour flight, wait a few hours, then do another six hour flight. And then coming home, it's going to be the exact opposite. Only, it's going to suck a little bit more because there's that risk of, uh, I think I'm just going to call it Kenyan Syndrome. I've been told that uh, Kenyans do not keep, quote, do not keep time. And it sounds like, like what, what the hell does that mean? Uh, meaning they do things at their own pace. And that sounds nice until you realize that you need to get somewhere. And, well, the, the person in charge is saying, no, we're not going just yet. I almost missed my light, um, my last uh, flight out of Istanbul back to the U.S. Because for no reason at all, uh, the, the people at the airport's like, nah, we're not going to load yet. And we ended up leaving an hour later than we should have. <laughs> well, it's mainly, I, I don't plan to just go out and see sites. I just plan to go there, relax with the missus for a bit, and then, um, and then head back. But who knows? Maybe something interesting will happen. Interesting will happen. Uh, I might just see someone, I don't know, hitch a ride on the back of a pickup. Like, this night one. Why am I here? So, uh, the Queen, Angie, the story one of my first trip to, um, to Kenya, which is ironically when I downloaded King's Throne, because I needed something to entertain me while I was there. Um... But night one, it's actually morning. Uh, I got there like three o'clock in the morning, and going to my Airbnb. We're on the major uh, highway, going to where we need to go. And uh, my driver, she's like, "Hey, so it's your first time in Kenya, huh?" I'm like, "Yeah." Uh, what can you tell me about this place? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot going on here. Uh, by the way, you see that guy over there? And and I turn and I look, and there is. A Kenyan man on what is effectively now the freeway. We're going probably 50, 60 miles an hour. He's hanging off the camper shell of this dude's truck. And he's acting like nothing's wrong at all. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? What, what's going on here? And he goes, that man right there, he cannot afford bus fare. So he does that. Is he going to get caught? Like, yeah, he, he's not allowed to do that. But is, so long as he doesn't get caught, it's fine. Kenya made me appreciate paved roads. <laughs> That's also something that I got out of that first trip. There, there are parts of that place that uh, has no road whatsoever and it's frightening. What am I doing trying to get just stuff from, um, from Krobus? I could kick down Sophia's door, too. She has a ledger, and she has the pressure nozzles. Yeah, so, uh, this is gonna be... Trip number three out of the country, and I still don't know if the word Mizungu is meant to be racist or not. Oh, Sophia. Do you have to stop for a cow? Uh, you're probably thinking of India. I did see plenty of farm animals on the road, though. And I don't mean like, oh, they're fenced into their own little area. No, I mean like they're physically on the side of the road being herded by, um, I don't know the name of the individuals that do it, but they're literally just, uh, they, they're caretakers effectively and they herd animals and it's like a, an ancient, 
sort of travel thing that uh, that they do. And they, they just have a stick, and they're herding. And they're not just herding, uh, maybe a couple cows here and there. I'm talking about a full herd. These guys don't mess around. And they, they're so dedicated to their craft that... Um, what's it? Uh, my Airbnb hostess t invited me. I say invite. It was more like um, a uh, voluntold. I guess you could call it, that uh, she wanted to go out to this area so she could check on this land that she has. And she wanted me to come with her. I'm like, okay, I really didn't want to go because I, I don't really know her and I don't know what sort of situation I'm going to be put in. So it's me, her, her driver, and I don't know if it's her daughter or uh, her, um, uh, her housekeeper. I don't know who this lady is, but... We drive three hours out into the middle of nowhere, and I don't know what's going on here. And we're going through this area that is nothing but kind of mid to low grasslands. It's basically a savanna. It's where a lion can easily hide in and jump you if you're not paying attention, if your head's not on a swivel. And as we're going... We come up to this shack. It is basically an abandoned shack, and it's run down, and it's nothing here. But I take another look at it, and I go, "Are those clothes hanging off the side of this 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 shack?" I'm like, no, there's no way someone lives here. Sure enough, one of those affirm those people that were described just walks up and um, he starts talking with the hostess I'm like, dude this guy lives in a freaking shack out in the middle of literal nowhere also he can make what amounts to like $25 a month from a single person to look after this land so pretty pretty hardcore Okay. I'm going to go. Where am I going to go? I got places to go. People to see. Sprinkler, sprinklers to place. So. I'm going to go back to the Summit Farm. Um, it's, it's a type of shepherd, but it's more of a tribal and religious shepherd but then again that can also describe a shepherd uh, they had a they had a specific name for it all right so this needs to go down three one two and three Okay, so I'm going to place it right here. Oh, that's that's not really, really going to work, is it? Okay, I'll put it up by one. I want an area to walk around in, but if push comes to shove, I can line the tops over here with scarecrows. And the tops and the bottoms. this. I'm going to need to find some way to get rid of all this debris that keeps coming in. I might need to edit the config file to uh, to make it so they don't regrow or respawn. It's v it's having this come in to potentially destroy the farmland is it's no bueno.
Oh, God damn, another one. At least he's give a lot of hardwood, so that's nice. The train is passing through Stardew Valley. Okay, man. It's the only use for a slingshot that I have ever heard one of. But, uh... I appreciate your adventure when you first joined our Discord and your status was, I mean, no, specifically, it, the status was in Kenya, BRB, and I literally didn't change it for over a year. <laughs> and I wasn't lying, I was actually in Kenya. My, um, that was my first time out of the country, and I was there for a month tip to anyone that is going to travel abroad for a little while don't be afraid just to dip your toes in the water probably not the best of ideas to go a full freaking month out of out of your home country cuz it came days where I was just bored out of my skull Oh, let's see. Oh, and, and just a, a fun fact for, and I'm pretty sure I've told this story as well, but we in the U.S., we uh, we take our safety for granted. Like, like really, we do. When um, I needed to get a phone for Kenya, it's with the missus right now, um, so we have to go to the small area. And as we're coming in, and you know, it's the middle of COVID too, so we have to have masks on. We have to, we have to make sure that um, we're not being, we're, not, we're sticking to the rules. Uh, we're we're going in and we're passing the security checkpoint. I'm like, huh, this is weird. We're going to a mall and there's a security checkpoint, and we're still in the Uber going to the mall. By the way, the Kenya does have Uber, and I'm looking around. Security guard is coming in, checking us out, making sure that we don't have anything dangerous. And I just kind of turn to my left, and I see a security guard walking, and he's holding an AK-47. And uh, I realized that, uh, holy shit, uh, yeah, uh, terrorism is a thing there. <laughs> now, granted, Somalia, which is the, the usual suspect... Uh, they are on the other side of the where Nairobi is at, but they still don't mess around because at that very same mall several years ago, there was a shootout and several people were killed. Weirdly enough, there was um, uh, there, you know, these terrorists are going around shooting people left and right with willful abandon. Yet, there was uh, just a family that they decided to not make well ventilated. Kind of want to respect them for that, but they're at the same time they're terrorists. Huh. I do not remember getting her her friendship level that high. Okay, <laughs> going through, from death and destruction to a third world country to getting a peach off of a freaking tree, or what? Or what is that? An apple? What? What is that fruit? It looks kind of like a peach, but. I I think she says it's an apple. Guys, do not do this in real life. You will be charged with assault. Unless the the person in question is really into you. And in that case, it's okay. Yeah, it's an apple right there. Why is it an apple? Why is apple? Why can't I talk straight today or any day? I'm going to have a stroke one of these days. <laughs> I'm going to be all by myself. I'm I'm still going to die. I'm going to go out the same way my dad did. Actually, no, he, he was taken out by lung cancer. It was the stroke that started it. All right, what do you have? 
anything good. No. I want to get I want to get more iridium sprinklers, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna hit the two million mark if I do that. I mean, you can do that, but be prepared to get your neck stabbed. <laughs> Yeah, I like how people say, it's like, oh, yeah, this is a free country. You can do anything you want. I mean, yeah, it's technically true, but uh, it doesn't stop people from um, making sure that you suffer consequences for it. Freedom of speech or freedom to do things is not, uh, it's not freedom of responsibility. And that's not just a U.S. thing. That's all over the world. I think um, I'm going to try to quote Carlin, um, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to butcher it. He says, uh, well, my opinion is fuck your opinion. And if you don't like my opinion, there's nothing stopping you from fucking killing me. So, yeah, that's where the word works. It's just a laws or a concept. Granted, it's a pretty effective concept, but a concept nonetheless. Alright, going to the volcano. I need to take another attempt for the hot java ring. Which I'm probably not going to get because I announced it. Just going to juke the slimes. Ooh, the, the awesome music. Chest right there. Grab the what the faces through the wall, that's cheating. Ah, oh, garbage. He's looking at us, shaking his head. Are you from are you saying my dad is in hell? I mean, granted, this is most likely oper uh, the, the outcome, but I try to be optimistic about it. I mean, the, actually, the guy destroyed like four marriages, so yeah, he's going to hell. Well, that was an embarrassing miss. Pretend that didn't happen. No, George. Car oh. I don't know why my 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 brain went back to my dad. I'm so. <laughs> I, I realize I'm more like him than I thought. You think Carlin's in hell? I don't think Carlin's in hell. Like the the dude is. What the? F why are there so many bad guys? No, go away. I did not sign up for a gangbang, thank you. Alright, where's the exit? Give me the exit. Give me the exit. There's the exit. Go! No. Anything over there? No? Okay. You 
absolutely missed the Carlin joke about no one ever say they looking up to us. Um, my only experience with George Carlin was on YouTube. Like I didn't get the, I didn't have the luxury of seeing any of his uh, specials younger. Like I got into him of my own record uh, accord. I didn't have like someone say, Hey, you should really watch George Carlin. Like, okay. I like comedy. Who's George Carlin. And I just one day game. Come on. And that's when I realized that, oh, God, this guy's a freaking genius. You also have to have a healthy amount of skept... Uh, no, it's not skepticism, cynicism to really enjoy stuff. I tried watching some of it at first. I'm like, ah, this is, this is a little bit too hard for me. And then, and then I realized just how right he was. Would you guys fuck off? I need to. Oh, God. Ah, more of these guys. Come on. I don't want your Girl Scout cookies. Can I go this way? No. Okay. Game is really hating me today. Does not. This is a no fun zone right now. Well, at least I got a couple of those. Oh, you grew up on it? Oh, I'm so jealous. Alright, where is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, game, come on. All right, final room. This is what I'm looking for. Where all the bad things come out to play. Ah, oh, god damn it. All right, that guy's down. That guy's down. Oh, God damn. Come on, lag. Don't be a dickhead right now. Oh, God damn. Another one. Don't need your guys' shit. All right. What's in here? Oh, <gasps> my favorite. Putting this bitch on right now. Best item in the game. Right there. Get out of my way. <laughs> Monkey. Alright. Let's try putting one of this in. Right there. With one of these. I do not have to... Oh, ho, 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 ho. The rage, it boils within me. All right, that's okay. The point, the, the important thing is that I have it. All right, let's go back and uh, get the, get the other items there. Actually, what I could do is, oh, well, technically, I'm trying to do the big think here. I know thinking and gaming is not something I'm great at, but I try. Let's see, um, part of me wants to go for the wine, but at the same time, I could just get them all together and then sell them to Pierre tomorrow. But if I get them now, there's one less thing for me to do in the morning. It's like real life. It's just debating on this kind of stuff that you got to do. Oh, 
Whoa, did I miss a few? Oh, no, I didn't. It's just the weird way to... Oh, come on, game. Come on. Don't do this to me. Okay. This is actually a area in the game where I really hope nothing goes wrong with the save. Alright, so last time I think we were at, what, uh, 164? Now we're at 177? Nice. Does that water in the volcano not evaporate? Apparently not. It's magic water. It's like super magic water. Oh, that's 400,000! Only 300,000 away. Oh, actually, I don't think I'm going to get it. Because last go-around, I, um, I had blueberries, too. I got a lot of blueberries. Oh, no, I don't think I'm going to get it, guys. See what's in here. Whole lot of stuff I don't care about. Put those in there. Put those in there. That in there. I'm not trying to start anything with this, but I slapped my phone, Samsung phone. Not in its case onto ceramic tile. No damage. Oh. Now, did it go face down or back down? I think we can all agree. It doesn't matter what phone brand it is. Uh, how uh, how good it is. What its specs are. As soon as someone or just a group of people see a phone fall down on a hard surface face down, everyone gasps. Everyone looks. And everyone presses F to pay respects. If you don't, there's something wrong with you. Some phones are selectively indestructible. <laughs> yeah. It was flipping in every direction. So, it was going hardcore parkour. All right, time to see what we get. Glad these are all good. Oh, by the way, these are all outfitted with uh, quality fertilizer. Bet if you dropped it three inches, it would shatter. Sad part is she's probably right. Not if it's a Nokia brick. Oh yeah, those ones are really indestructible. It's like everyone had that that particular Nokia at some point. Doesn't matter how rich or poor you are, you had that Nokia. They're portable hammerheads. You're not wrong. There's 480. Oh, I gotta fill up the kegs first. Fuck my life. I don't want to fill up the kegs. I want to just. I just know if I sold everything I have here, uh, I will have enough. But nope, gotta gotta deal with this mess. As a matter of fact, I, 
I might just stick to just this room for today. Not fill up the other one. Uh, well, 88. I don't know. Ah, fuck. You know, money's money. I'll go ahead and fill this up. I like the sound they make. All right, let's run on over to Pierre's. Oh, I didn't even notice this here. Jesus Christ, a coma for a month? Oh no. Pierre's not available today. It's community day that I'm not going to go to because there's nothing really left to do for community day. It's just a time when everyone gets together and does stuff. That's not good. I guess the only other thing I could do is uh, try to collect um, pig offerings. The pig offerings won't be much, but they'll be something. I wish I had an auto petter right now. Oh, would you get the hell out of my way, you freaking chicken? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and sell most of these. I'm not going to sell the wool. You never know when you're going to need wool. Just, I learned that the hard way. A hundred and twelve void eggs. Alright, let's take a new snooze and see how much there is. Ugh. Oh my god, we did it. Skin of the teeth, but it has been done. My void chick in. <laughs> Not singular. Plot twist, it's a hermaphrodite. And now, we can do... <laughs> like the one of my... Hey, got blueberries today! <laughs> All right, game has uh, decided. Okay, what are the? What are you watering, Corrine? Because I'm I'm seeing it right here. What are these two idiots doing? Okay, <laughs> but as far as I, I'm aware, you know the sprinklers are doing all the work. They're not doing a damn thing. All right, let's go pay a visit to our man Krobus for one of the best items in the game. All right. Give me. And now... We vanish. She got into the stash today. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna gonna help my buddies out.
so goddamn satisfying. I don't know why. screen it lags uh that's because there's so many sprites on screen that the game lags a little bit now granted the lag here i would say is not as bad as ps4 lag it's my first starting valley experience was on ps4 and with the default farm so we're talking about vanilla stardew. Uh, I had you know, mostly blueberries. And, well, the game didn't like that a whole lot, or the, the console. And if I got to a specific part of the map, the game would crash. Should have a second void chicken so it has a friend. Friend or fuck buddy? It's a pretty big difference. And that difference could be a big problem. It's the satisfaction of being right. <laughs> what a feeling I am low. No, not low. I was low on blueberries. Hmm. Worth it. Now we throw the, all these in. And go see what this is worth. Sleep for the night? Yes! And this is where I'm ending things for today. We're past that two hour mark. And, well, I have some weight to burn off because fucking spaghetti. All right. Uh, so, as a reminder, tomorrow, if my brother decides that he wants to stay around for another stream, we will do Animal Crossing. If not, we are going back to The Witcher 3. So, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, or perhaps a little bit earlier, kind of like what we did last time. Just depends on what my brother has going on. But uh, hope to see you there. Until then, guys, uh, behave yourselves. All right, take it easy. Assuming I can get out of the screen. Okay, there. Wait, no. Where's my mouse? All right, there it is. And end.